Hello, this is The Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to ask the question whether a gaming mouse combined with a fast refresh rate gaming monitor is enough to make you a pro FPS gamer. Now, this is a video on NVIDIA's Reflex Latency Analyzer technology, which is a technology that exists within some 360 hertz G-Sync compatible gaming monitors combined with some particular specific gaming mice which offer a, a low latency setting that can be analyzed by the monitor to then minimize your system latency cut down on your overall latency and result in a better gaming experience and potentially make you a better gamer at least that's the theory now in this video i'm going to be covering off some of the settings that are included with an ASUS monitor, but covering more importantly the power of NVIDIA's Reflex Analyzer and how it works and putting it into layman's terms. There will be a number of links in the description that will cover in more depth how the latency analyzer works and what it's for and what the purpose is it. But it is a very specific bit of hardware that is included in very specific monitors in a very specific list of compatible mice. So you do need a monitor and a mouse that will support this setup. What it does essentially is it allows you to plug your mouse directly into the monitor and then the monitor into your PC and then it tracks the click of your mouse and the response that that click gives on the screen. And how it does that, I'll show you in a second, but basically puts a square over your muzzle and detects the flash on the screen and then the click from your mouse that results in that. And that is then an analysis of the latency between the two. So as I said, you need to make sure you have the right monitor to support it. This is a 24 inch 360 Hertz refresh rate monitor, which is plugged into a PC using USB pass through. And then there's a port specifically on the monitor that you can see here that you can plug the mouse into. Now you do need a compatible mouse and there are a list of mice included, which comes from a variety of different manufacturers, including SteelSeries, Corsair, Razer, ASUS, and Logitech. And I've been using the Logitech Superlight and the ASUS Chakram Core to do this, but there are a number of other ones. I'll link in the description so you can find out which ones. Once those are plugged in, you can then activate the analyzer within the hardware settings on the monitor itself, assuming you have the right monitor that actually supports this setup. What that then does it is then puts an overlay over the right position and you can adjust the size and shape of that to then be over where your gun's going to be to detect the muzzle flash. So as I said, what it's doing is essentially tracking when you click your mouse, what happens on the screen and the distance and the time it takes for that to reach the screen and therefore measures the latency of your system to give you the best results. This is implemented in some games. So it not only requires a specific mouse, so a specific monitor, but it also requires a specific game. So the list is quite short at the moment. But it does work with things like Rainbow Six Siege and Overwatch at the moment. And more games are coming and there are other games listed and available. But for the reference of this video, I'm going to be testing it on those two. So you can see here, I've got it on the ASUS ROG Swift PG259QNR. It's set up there with the mouse plugged into it. And within the settings, you can turn on the latency analyzer. You can adjust the size and the position of it. You can get a readout of the refresh rate of the screen and also the latency of the mouse too. Now within NVIDIA's GeForce Experience software, you can then have a heads up display and you can position this where you want it on the screen, but it's basically a performance setting that allows you to track system latency, either in advanced or latency mode, but then has a display that you can put an overlay which appears on the screen and then monitors the performance. So you can see, for example, here in Windows itself, it's showing that there's no flash detected and it's measuring mouse latency. But it's not going to be giving a particularly accurate response at this point because what we need to do is go into the game and set it up so that the block that tracks using the latency analyzer is in the right place. Now, this sort of technology would usually require a, an expensive setup with a high speed camera and some pretty nifty detection software, but basically it's built within the monitor itself, which is really clever. As I said, you need a 360 Hertz refresh rate monitor. 
and you need a game that supports NVIDIA Reflex low latency and you can see it here within Rainbow Six Siege, although it is worth noting this is only on the test server at the time of making this video. It hopefully will roll out to the main game soon, but it is something to bear in mind that it's still in the early stages, but it is interesting that this hardware is being included on a number of different monitors and basically will potentially give you the edge in the future. Within Overwatch, that too is in the test server, and you can see you can activate NVIDIA Reflex here. You can also turn on a flash indicator. The implementation in Overwatch is actually a bit more intelligent than it is in Rainbow Six Siege. One of the problems you have in Rainbow Six is when you aim down the sights or move your weapon, your muzzle is going to go to a different place. The muzzle flash might not be in the right in the same place for every weapon. That's potentially a problem for any FPS game. But what the developers have done in Overwatch is they've intelligently created a box. So you can see on the left hand side of the screen there's a white box that flashes every time I pull my trigger. That is basically meant to represent the muzzle flash of the weapon, which means that you can set the latency analyzer over that white square and it will accurately measure when the response is registered in the game, no matter what weapon you're using, and therefore you can really easily track that. You can then see the performance and the mouse latency on the right hand side in the overlay or wherever you've positioned the overlay, and you can see mouse latency and other settings like the display latency, overall system latency and things like that. So you can see the best performance that you're getting and then NVIDIA's GeForce Experience will allow you to monitor that and hopefully give you the best performance possible. That is really interesting and the implementation of it is fantastic here. Within Rainbow Six Siege is a bit more tricky I found because what the block does with the latency analyzer is it's looking for the muzzle flash. Now there isn't always a muzzle flash in Rainbow Six Siege. The weapons aren't designed to give off a massive muscle flash and what it does is it also tracks and looks for changes in brightness on the screen so if you have some bright areas on the screen like a muzzle flash from an enemy's weapon a flashbang a bit of the environment and such then that can interfere with the tracking so it can potentially be a problem but as i said you can resize and move that block around it's also worth noting that that gray square doesn't need to permanently be there you can turn it on and off so once you set it into the right position, you can turn it off so you're not seeing it permanently, but it's still running and still allowing the thing to track. So you can see potentially, it's really interesting the way they've done this and the way it's implemented. So it's a feature of a 360 hertz display, which allows you to improve your system, reduce latency and monitor it accurately as well. And there's some really interesting features in here. Now I'll link to NVIDIA's pages so you can find out more about it, watch in-depth videos from them and read more about it specifically. But I wanted to highlight that this technology exists and that it's potentially really interesting. However, it does require the right games, the right mouse and the right monitor as well. So you do need to make sure you've got the right hardware. Will it make you a pro? I'm not really sure, to be honest. I found it's been a great experience. I've had some really good gaming sessions with it. Whether it's improved my gaming is another thing entirely. I'm an old man, my reactions aren't that great. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, baby. There's another one in there, monkey. Watch out. Nice. Right, I'm taking a hostage. We have the hostage. Yeah. Move. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting, and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you. And have a great life.